we're told that we want to factor the following expression that they have right here. And they say that we can factor the expression as u plus v squared, where u and v are either constant integers or single variable expressions. What are u and v? And then they ask us to actually factor the expression. So pause this video and see if you can work on that. All right, so let's go with the first part of it. So they say they can factor the expression as u plus v squared. So how do we see this expression in terms of u plus v squared? Well, one way is to just remind ourselves what u plus v squared even is. u plus v squared, this is just going to be a, the square of a binomial, and we've seen this in many, many other videos. This is going to be u squared plus two times the product of these two terms, so two uv plus v squared. If you've never seen this before and not sure where this came from, I encourage you to watch some of those early videos where we explain this out. But does this match this pattern? Well, can we express this term as u squared? Well, if this is u squared, then u would have to be equal to x plus seven. And when I say, actually, let me be a little careful. Can we express this entire thing right over here as u squared? If u squared is equal to x plus seven squared, that means that u is going to be equal to x plus seven. And then this right over here would have to be v squared. If this is v squared, then that means that v is equal to y squared, because y squared squared is equal to y to the fourth. So v is equal to y squared. Now they already told us that this, this, this can be factored as the expression u plus v squared. But let's make sure that this actually works. Is this middle term right over here, is this truly equal to two times u times v, two uv? Well, let's see, two times u would be two times x plus seven times v times y squared. And that's exactly what we have right over here. It's two y squared times x, so x plus seven. So this kind of hairy looking expression actually does fit this pattern right over here. So you can view it as u plus v squared where u is equal to x plus seven and v is equal to y squared. Now using that, we can now actually factor the expression. We can write this thing as being equal to u plus v squared. And we know what u and v are. So this, is, this whole expression is going to be equal to u, which is x plus seven, and I'll put it in parentheses just so you see it very clearly, plus v plus y squared squared, because that's exactly what we wrote over there. And of course, you don't have to write these parentheses, you could rewrite this as x plus seven plus y squared squared. Let's do another example. So here, once again, we are told that we want to factor the following expression. And they're saying that we can factor the expression as u plus v times u minus v, where u and v are either constant integers or single variable expressions. So pause this video and try to figure out what u and v are and then actually factor the expression. All right, well, let's just remind ourselves in general what u plus v times u minus v is equal to. Well, if this is unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to watch the videos on difference of squares. But when you multiply this all out, this is going to give you a difference of squares, u squared minus v squared. If you actually take the trouble of, of multiplying this out, you're going to see that that middle term, that middle third terms, or the middle terms, I should say, cancel out, so you're just left with the u squared minus the v squared. And so does this fit this pattern? Well, in order for this to be u squared, and for this to be v squared, that means u squared is equal to 4x squared. So that means that u would have to be equal to the square root of that, which would be two times x. Notice, u squared would be two x squared, which is four x squared. And then v would have to be equal to the square root of nine y to the sixth, which the square root of nine is three, and the square root of y to the sixth is going to be y to the third power. And then we could use that to factor the expression, because we could say, hey, this right over here is the same thing as u squared minus v squared. So it's going to be equal to, we can factor it out as, or factor it as, u minus, or u plus v times u minus v. So what's that going to be equal to? So u plus v is going to be equal to two x plus three y to the third. And then u minus v is going to be equal to 2x, which is our u, right over here, 
minus RV minus 3y to the third. So there you had it. We factored the expression. You might want to write it down here, but we just did it right up there. And we're done.